everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope that you can excuse this very poofy hair. I've been trying to like just sleek it down, but you know, it's just, let me stop shaking this table. So tonight we're going to be talking today, today, afternoon, morning, wherever it is where you are, we're going to be talking about the next set of books. So every week I review a couple of books that I've been reading for the Law of Success. Your Wish is Your Command book list from According to Kevin Trudeau. So let's just get right into it. Today's book is The Law of Success in 16 Lessons. Um, here is the book. This is from Napoleon Hill. I wanted the original unhinged copy. And I did not discuss some of my issues with Napoleon Hill in the last book review, but I'm going to touch a little bit on that in this book because this book, I don't know if it needed to be so long. <laughs> um, but I'm going to talk a little bit about that because I think it is a writing style that is very specific of a particular kind of book, of a particular kind of uh, in a particular set in a particular time in in human history and so one of the things that i think has happened with this book maybe i should have gotten the revised version this is the unabridged completed and unabridged version one of the, let's just get into some of the issues one of the many issues that i have with the book besides the verbiage the wordiness is that it is it's still very outdated in the way and terminologies that are being used. Major trigger warning for those of you who are people of Black African descent who are native to the Western Hemisphere. I'm not going to limit that to just people from America. I also, I'm not from America. I'm from the Caribbean. And I did not appreciate some of the verbiage that was used in this book. Same issue with Think and Grow Rich. Uh, I really feel like that is something that the people may have missed and is something that can turn off people who are from Black African descent who want to read this kind of, um, who can want to read this kind of content but feel like it is very narrow-minded in the way that he speaks. But I will also just say that it is probably just the way people at that time spoke and our speech has evolved in <laughs> since then and that's kind of refreshing to know that this is just how people of that time think now when you add to that 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 is going to turn some people off and make them think that oh napoleon hill may be racist and napoleon hill might be um not as inclusive why should i listen to him i really believe that a lot of the principles i've heard before from people in my own family um, and it just kind of reinforced those principles for me. And it really is a good reflective uh, piece of uh, of literature. If you've heard any of the principles in this book and you feel like, well, maybe that's just the way that person think, but thinks. But a lot of people who are successful think this way. So if you can stomach the very... Uh, the very nature of how he writes and you can struggle and push on through it, you will be pleasantly surprised to know that this kind of content is very important for success because it is it is kind of eye-opening um one of the things that was extremely that extremely stood out to me for this book which is something that maybe only stood out because it was a thing that i was interested at the time that it came up in the book was alliance and company there yeah i know it's it's a very thick book it's like the size of a bible and i I'm obviously I could have gotten some other things out of the book. I'm going to talk about only that and one other thing. And that is that the people you hang out with, the groups that you're a part of, the people that you spend the most time with uh, influence you in such a way that causes harmonious uh state of living or uh a disruptive state of being. And I think that that was something that really stood out to me the most, which is why I thumbnailed that. And that's the, one of the things that I wanted to share. There are so many other things from this book that I probably have to go reread and talk about 
if you're interested in checking out the summarized version, I would recommend you do that first. I listened to this book in audio uh, a couple of, I think a couple of years before, and I was, you know, before I buy a book and sit down and read it, I like to listen to the whole book first. It took me half the time to listen to it because of course you're listening, but when I pick up a book and I read it, you guys already know when I pick up a book and read it, I feel like I experience the book completely differently and thoroughly. I think I enjoy it. I enjoy a good read more. There is a part also that has to do with self-analysis. The self-analysis part of the book has a couple of questions. I will not read them. I would recommend that you pick up it for yourself. And it is three pages long. So <laughs> If you have never done a self analysis before, self analysis before, I would recommend that you sit with someone who you know and trust, whose opinions you trust, and have them go give you some feedback on that part of the book um, together. So that one I haven't really done yet, but um, that was something that was really stuck that stuck out really good well to me, uh, really uh, profoundly for me. The other thing was the, um, the pledge to oneself. I'm also not going to read that, but it's a signed pledge. And if I could just find it so I could quote it, it talks about um, the goals that you set for yourself, believing in yourself and self-information. Self-information. I have talked about self-information and auto-suggestion before on this channel, the power it has over you and the people around you. And I can't stress it enough to always have one or two or many books as possible to talk about power of the words that come out of your mouth as it pertains to what is being perceived in your life or how that manifests in your life. So I would give this book a six out of 10 just because it was just so long and I feel like it could have been like, like it could have just been like Over. that Over. much. I don't know. Pick it up and tell me what you think. Um, Yeah, so it's an okay read, but I prefer, if I had to choose between this one and uh. We're Think and Grow Rich, I would choose Think and, Think and Grow Rich. However, this is very precise and more condensed. But like I said, I could have done with a little less verbiage. So thank you guys for stopping by and I will see you in the next one. Please remember to like and subscribe and stay safe, safe and stay free.